Hi there. In this short topic video, we're just going to make a distinction, an important distinction between production and productivity. The exam reports confirm that it's important for students to make clear the difference between production and productivity. It sometimes is an area of confusion. So here we go. Production is best defined as the value of the output of goods and services produced by businesses. And of course, we can aggregate that to look at uh, total production measured by GDP. We might actually focus on just the level of production in the car industry or the power sector or production in the hotels, leisure and catering. So production is essentially a measure of the value of output. Now, productivity, subtly different, but important differences. Productivity is a measure of the efficiency of a factor of input or a factor of production. The basic measure of productivity would be the value of output per person employed or perhaps the value of output per hour worked. Now, key point coming up. An increase in production, in other words, total output, does not automatically mean there's been an increase in productivity. Because of course, it depends on how many factor inputs, land and labour and capital that we brought into play to produce the extra output. So productivity is a measure of efficiency. If we take our factor inputs, land and labour and capital, and we add in the productivity of those factors of production, then we can generate a certain output of goods and services. If one thinks about it in macroeconomic terms, productivity growth is the major determinant of sustained growth of GDP and also of keeping inflation down. If productivity goes down, for example, if labour productivity takes a bit of a dip, that's going to lead to an increase in businesses' unit costs, assuming workers are being paid the same. But equally, if productivity goes up, if businesses become more efficient, that allows firms to pay higher wages and also perhaps make some higher profits at the same time. What are some of the key factors affecting productivity? I think the essential point is that productivity is influenced by both demand and supply side factors. Let's just go through a few of them. Uh, let's read across the top row first of all. Productivity is influenced by how intense is the competition in a market. So the post office has just been privatised, sold off to the private sector. Well, Royal Mail now has lost its monopoly in collecting, sorting and delivering letters. Uh, there's also intense competition in the parcel sector. And that, uh, that stimulus of competition could drive productivity up. It'll need to, to keep the Royal Mail competitive. We know that productivity tends to go up when businesses are on the cutting edge of the technological frontier. Although it does take time, obviously, for, for advances in technology to feed through to productivity because people need to be trained to use the new technology. In micro, you'll have looked at specialisation, division of labour within a business, learning by doing, by constant repetition of a particular task. That can be a way of increasing productivity, although it does have its downsides. Productivity also affected by the quality and the quantity of the capital inputs available to production. So if workers are using with capital that's slightly newer, more up to speed and more up to date, likely to be more productive. What else affects productivity? Things like the quality of the labour force, the skills, the experience, the training, the qualifications that the, the workforce has to be able to supply different goods and services. And in a world of increasing complexity, the human capital of the labour force also matters. Productivity also affected by the quality of management. Quite a few studies have been taking place now that says that the management of organisations of businesses, how they bring together land and labour and capital, can make quite a significant difference to productivity. And if we take the macro picture, having an efficient, robust transport network, having fast broadband mobile speeds, uh, having good ports, good rail systems, good logistics. So the infrastructure of an economy can have a significant effect on our productivity. And then finally, it's quite important to realise that, that productivity or efficiency is influenced by the level of demand for your product. So if you're operating pretty much at half pace, if demand is pretty weak or low, then productivity is likely to suffer. But if demand is high, and you're utilising your land and labour and capital resources pretty much to the optimum level, then that can lead to what's called a cyclical increase in your productivity. 
Anyway, the key point of doing this little topic video is to explain that there is a difference between production, for example, production in the car sector, uh, the number of homes that are built each year, that's production, and productivity, which is a measure of the efficiency with which factors of production are used. If you can make that distinction, everybody, you won't go far wrong. Thanks for joining in.